Hey Gemini, welcome to your weekly forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love, money, career, for the period beginning the 11th of January 2021. All right. Hey, because it is a general reading, you may want to look at the forecast for your moon sign and your rising sign to get a big overall picture. Thanks again for liking and subscribing so that YouTube can find my new channel. Appreciate that. Oh, wow, that flew out. Uh, if this is the first time to my channel, just know that I have a herd of spirits in my camp. And I do channel messages directly from spirit. This is a spirit reading using Tarot. There are energies in the room. Uh, I'm also getting some of the spirits for uh, some of the people that are guided to these videos. Some of your guides are coming in. And talk about pushy, loud, obnoxious. No, I'm not on that. Well, yeah, they're obnoxious. Um, I had some, one, I was doing a, a December reading for Leo. Somebody turned my television on. So lots of strong energies. They'll do whatever they need to do to get my attention so they get the message across. Like, for example, uh, I have a crooner in here. I have a past loved one, a male, and he's singing, um, He's singing to me, what is that? Um, it's got to be you, it's got to be you. And he's kind of like suave uh, and like suaving it up, you know, like as if he was like singing it and walking around the room and kind of like touching you the side of your cheek while he was doing it, you know, that kind of thing. Touching your hand and like dancing around you while he was doing it. Um... So if that resonates with anybody, he said it would. Uh, and he's a kidder. You know, he's, he, he's got a good sense of humor. He's a jovial. He's a, he's a funny guy. Anyway, I'm going to say hello. Uh, somebody, aunt, so, wow, I never usually get names. Somebody's Aunt Patty. It's not Patricia. It's Patty. Aunt Patty is here. Uh, so she's saying hello. Uh, okay. All right, Gemini, what do we have? Okay, someone else's spirit here is, is cursing at you, saying, what the F are you doing with your life? Time to let it go. All right, so we'll just leave it at that. As we move forward and we see what's in the cards for January 11th for our Geminis, what do we got? All right, so we have the Five of Swords in reverse. The world is in reverse. Okay, Ace of Rods in reverse, Ten of Rods in reverse. Oh, we got the Emperor. Ooh, we have a match set. We have the Emperor and the Empress. Let's start with those and see what we get. All right, so, <laughs> oh, okay. So, we've got the Five of Swords in reverse. Let's take a look at this card. That's so nice. Okay. Some of you at the beginning of this period, and it's in reverse. Okay, so some of this, it's a little bit more. Some of you in the beginning of this period, um, either you're involved in unnecessary conflict, or you are causing unnecessary conflict. You're, you know, are you in the middle of it, or are you instigating it? Um, this is a period where... Uh, Again, there's, you know, and the reason I'm saying one or the other is because there's two sets of camps here in the spirit world. I've got four or five spirit guides coming in saying they're in the middle of some, some, some really, really interesting conflict. And, and they say interesting because every experience is a gift, but we'll talk about that some other time. And then the other f seven spirits say, oh, no, no, they're instigating it. So... Let's talk about the, the in the middle of first on this. If you're in, you know, for these people that are not causing the conflict directly, you're in the middle of the conflict with somebody who has a selfish agenda, who is bullying, who's oppressive, and blaming others for everything that's wrong in their life. For those of you who are instigating the conflict, because it's sort of a, almost a 50-50 split here, um... You are a self, you have a selfish agenda. Okay. Uh, someone said you and you're full of it, but that's another, sorry. Um, and stop blaming others for your own shortcomings. So 
you know, this is, a, this is amplified by the fact that the world is in reverse. So what does the world mean when it's in reverse? You know, your world feels like it's upside down right now. Literally, okay? So the world, in, uh, the world upright is about triumph and completion and, and, and rewards. In reverse, not so much. Uh, it's, it's more about you're like ready to move on, but you're still blocked in some way. Um, you know, you're still holding on to something that eludes you. Uh, spirits saying, time to let that the F go. Let it go. It's not yours to have. Okay. Um, I'm clinging on to something. All right. And for those of the people that are instigating that conflict, for the people that are the, the, the offshoot of that conflict, someone's holding on to something and won't let it go. And it's really turning your world upside down. Okay. I hope that makes sense to you because I have two definite camps here in the room. Uh, of one set of spirit guides telling me for the, for, for a, a majority of people, they're, they're on the, they're on the peripheral of this conflict. The conflict is external, but they're getting sucked in. And on the other side is, yeah, no, they're causing it. So, uh, just be careful. Uh, cause you know what happens when you cause conflict. If you cause conflict, you know, yes, you're the bad guy. And, and if you, if you're involved in it, you're the victim, but you'll both be seen as a bad guy even the victim. So let's stay away from the conflict as best we can. We also have, at the beginning of this period, we have the Ace of Rods in reverse. And the Ace of Rods is usually about happy times and new beginnings, but it's about blocks to proje projects and new opportunities. It's blocks to um, moving forward. Okay. It's also about abandoning work projects, projects that you started you just letting go. Uh, it's about delays. You want to get out of town, but uh, your, your travel is delayed. Uh, it's followed by this 10 of, 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 of um, wands or the 10 of rods. And usually that's about stress, but this is about extreme stress. Um, and the burdens and the stress is more is higher and more amplified because of your perception of the stress. It's not that the actual burden is amplified. It's your reaction to the burden that is amplified. So a lot more stress than you need to have. Um, there's always a way out, especially for you guys. So let's get to the good news because the homework is, okay, you need to take a time out and you need to reevaluate what your priorities are per spirit. You need to say, okay, I'm going to let go of what's not mine so that I can figure out what it is I want and move forward, right? Now, spirit says there's money. Um, I keep getting that there's money coming. So, all right, there's money coming. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. So, but really, what do you want in your life? And you really want, okay, so you've got the empress and the, and the emperor and the empress, Okay. And the emperor is about order. It's about structure. You know, it's about control. You want to take back control of your life. You want to be in control of your emotions. You want an orderly home. You want a good partnership. You want structure in your business. And based on what I see here, you are close to losing everything. If you could just let go of what's not yours, you could see what's coming in for you. All right. So your homework is let go of what doesn't belong to you. Let go. Let's say, uh, yeah, you know, um, I don't know. Uh, you had a job and, uh, you were laid off, but yet you're still so angry about that. And you're angry at the person who got, uh, who took your position over, who probably doesn't know who you are because they interviewed for some, whatever you see where I'm going. You have to let that go. You have to let go of the stress in order to move forward. Okay. It's time to reevaluate what your priorities are. Now, the emperor is about order, about partnership, about structure. Okay. Now, his mate, the empress, 
Isn't she pretty? Okay. She is about, um, <clears throat> sorry. She's about an abundant life. So here's your money to start with. She's in about an abundant life. She's about um, moving. Some of you are moving. Your, your house is moving. You're moving. You're going to be doing renovations. You'll have, uh, you're moving into a period of better relationships. If you do your homework, okay, uh, more financial security. And here's the finance, you know, and, and the 10 of coins, yeah, it's about money, you know, it's about financial security. It's about wealth. It's about prosperity. It's about expanding the home front, you know, wherever, uh, it's about maturing investments. So you can be calling in the money, but not if you don't let go of this. Okay, this is a spirit reading. There's always going to be some homework for you. You got to let go of what you're holding on to, whether it is something that you, the conflict that you're created, you've created, which is a percentage, or the conflict you're getting dragged into. Um, and some of these, okay, somebody's coming in and going, they're still holding on to the anger about an old situation and an ex. Oh, okay. So this conflict may not have been recent, you know? Um, so boy, you've been holding on to it for a long time for that person. Okay. All right. So you get the point. All right. So what do we have here? Krishna, find the blessings in your current situation. Thanks, Krishna. So, um, what this card is saying, what spirit is trying to tell you is, it will be easier for you to let go of the, the, um, let go of the conflict, turn your world right side up again. If you see a blessing, even if it's the smallest little thing in where you are right now, and maybe it's just that first sip of that caramel macchiato and realizing that life is a gasm one sip at a time. All right, guys. All right. That's all I've got. Hey, thanks again for liking and subscribing. Don't forget, if you do your homework, you'll be able to call on the prosperity and the money. Wouldn't that be nice? All right. Do your homework. If this resonates with you, throw a comment below. If you want to, if you want me to resonate with your energy, throw a comment below. If you want to claim the video, throw a comment below. Take care.